the length of a second up until the 50s or 60s, I think it was early 1960s, was defined by a specific fraction of the duration of the year 1900. The year divides up into days and then there's hours and minutes and seconds and the rotating Earth is a key part of this measurement. Well, let me ask you, if Earth in a 24-hour day is your measure, then how do you measure whether Earth's rotation changes? You can't. If your measure of time is based on the rotation of the Earth and the time it takes Earth to go around the sun, if those things change, you will never know that because that is your yardstick. If your yardstick is changing, you will only know that if you have another yardstick to compare it to. We offloaded the measurement of the duration of a second to atomic vibrations, the cesium atom. There's a transition in the cesium atom where you can measure the vibrations of that in the laboratory. And the duration of a second was defined and it has been defined that way for the past 60 years. When we did that, we said Earth is slowing down. For the first time, we could just measure that. Earth is slowing down.